Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the React Native series. In case you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are running an absolutely free, along with portfolio project, a React Native series. You will become an absolute amazing mobile app developer throughout the series. The source code is totally free, the videos are totally free on YouTube. Just because a big shout out thanks to sponsor of the video series, which is Hashnode. I'll talk about Hashnode in a minute. First, let me just lay out what we're going to do in this video. This video is going to be a tad bit longer one on the side because we want to explore a bit more on the styling part of it. This video, we will be creating a fancy looking card. We have two types of card in this entire uh, project too that we are building up. And the first card that we'll be building up will introduce us how to add images, a little bit more exploration about images. We'll study about them through the documentation as well as we will study a little bit more about Flexbox and how we can study about it, read about it from the official documentation. So here is that what we'll be studying, the layout with the Flexbox. So this is actually the official documentation about layout Flexbox. And this is all you need to study. They give you a nice example of how Flexbox can actually help you to provide all of that flex direction we studied about them a little bit then we have uh, these directions we obviously studied about them then we have justify content couple of more items are there which you should be looking up forward is just scroll a little bit and you'll find this flex basis grow and shrink try to explore them we will incorporate them in this video itself and we'll be going through with them now again uh, moving back your attention to the sponsor of this video in fact the entire series everybody's lovely hash node uh, today i want to focus a specific section of the hash node where you can actually earn money by writing article now finding quality article is very very difficult online and if you cater enough of the audience which actually loves your uh, content writing how precisely you write and how valuable your content is you can actually uh, convert them into your sponsor and how good it is that you love writing articles and somebody can sponsor you. In fact, a lot of uh, Hashnode articles are being sponsored, some by Hashnode itself, some by uh, fellow members who actually love to read quality articles. Uh, lots of people are being sponsored. So this is the sponsor. You can watch out the video. You can add your Sprite, uh, Stripe account, not Sprite, <laughs> uh, Stripe account directly and simply have this one activated. So all the monies can actually go to you. So this is a really nice way how you can officially make money with writing articles. So we'll come back onto this one a bit later. Now moving back onto this, I have actually increased the font size. I have actually uh, gone through with this one. Uh, reduced the font size a little bit. Uh, so make sure you hit that 1080p or 4K of the videos. This is what we'll be building up next. So we have elevated cards and we have flat cards also being done. Now let's go ahead and create another kind of component. We will be calling this one as fancy card. We have another card as well, but we We'll be talking about them later on. Right click, new file, and this one is going to be fancy card. So we'll be having a simple fancy card or cards. Card is fine. DSX. And we'll be having same RNFS, a React Native functional component of this fancy card. The text is fine. We'll save this and let's try to bring the fancy card just below the elevated card. So we'll be saying, hey, I want to bring in fancy card just like that and it should be all happy there we go our fancy card is in now the very first thing that we want to do is bring up all the text and the images we'll study about the images as well i uh, told you already the video is going to be a tiny bit on the longer side so the way how it actually works it's actually pretty easy first we're going to lay out everything will be inside the view we'll be having a text uh, let's call this one as uh, trending places because that's what we'll be building up trending places this text will obviously have some of the styling. So we'll be saying a uh, style and the style will be going to say styles dot same heading text. So we'll be saying heading text. Obviously, this doesn't exist. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is we'll be having these uh, styles just like this so that at least we can have a boilerplate template while we are just building up the entire thing. We don't need this right now. We'll just uh, populate all these stuffs and then we'll come back and bring back our emulator or the real device a little bit later so that we can see what is happening right in front of our eyes. So there we go. So this is the basics. Uh, we have this text and that's it. That's all what we want to have. We'll worry about the styling a little bit later. Now, here comes the interesting part. We want to have a view inside that there is going to be card. Cards can be of variety of types. The card that I showed you earlier in the playlist, uh, what type of card we are building up. Two types of card are there. First is the one which is having the heading at the top. This one is not having the heading at the top, so we'll be having some images, but 
what we want to do is wrap everything inside a view just like we do in the web so similarly we'll be having that so let's go ahead and wrap this up everything inside a view but not only that i'll actually borrow this piece of code so that we can actually move a bit faster so there we go so we have heading and we're gonna call this one as card but i know that just along the card is not gonna work through i need to give some elevation and all of these properties as well so rather i'll just convert that into an array and then i can provide multiple of these ones so i'll just say styles dot card elevated of course both of them doesn't exist so let's go quickly and we'll say card is going to come as a properties later on or the styling properties and we'll be having card elevated this is also going to come up a little bit later so now that i know at least the basics that i'll wrap everything as kind of a card now the first thing that we have is images so obviously what i want to do is uh, have these images so let me just go back and just like we have this flex bases and all of that i can just go ahead and look for the images so I don't know how to bring images. Uh, let's go ahead and explore the core component of image and see there's a functional and class component. I'm not worried on the class based component. So I can see that the bringing of the image is pretty easy. We can see this is the image. It can have a style and can have a source. Uh, this is an expo example. We really want to check out the example with the direct styling. Uh, so obviously look for what are the props available. Notice here the props, view props, height, so there's a lot of things that you can work around and it is recommended that you stay with here a little bit more on layout, object fit, height. There's a lot that we can do and explore onto this one. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and bring directly this image. So I'll be saying that, hey, I want an image component. And obviously this will be available here. This is the most important part. If yours is not auto completing, make sure you get that. And we'll be having just like this. Now, this image alone is always and always going to give you an error if you save that because there is a must have component which is a source now in this source you can provide a lot of properties for example if we go ahead look up here notice here this is the source uh, source this is how the example is you can provide the source like this any url would be good enough but there are more other ways you can require the local assets and image uh, we'll definitely cover them up maybe later on right now what we want to do is inside the source uh, go ahead and grab another of the property and inside that you can provide this uri oops uri yep that's exactly uri and this uri is a property just like this and this is where you pass on whatever the values you want to provide now i do have a link with me this is an image of an image so this is what we have i'll just save this one and let's go ahead and see in the emulator do we have anything uh, right now this is just the trending place so we don't have anything at all because this image is not loading there is no height or nothing in the image so let's go ahead and provide some of the styling to this one i'll go up here and i'll say style and uh, let's provide a styles dot card image now let's go ahead and bring this card image just here all right now we will definitely work on these card images and everything later on only one property that i want to provide right now is having a height and arbitrary number uh, 180 so there we go the moment we give a height just like in the web it shows up this is the compulsory property you can pass on this property here which is a good idea but you can also pass them up here as well there are a lot of props that you can pass on throw around so there we go not the best work here as of now but we saw that image is not really that big of a deal we can always go into documentation study a little bit more about the props and experiment with that and you can write a nice article just on the image because there's so much of the content you can explore and you can write about it all right so we'll come back onto this one a little bit later right now we have these images so once the image is done let's go ahead and talk a bit more about the views so this image is all done and good now let's talk about the card body so this is my view and the styling that it will be thrown up with is going to be styles dot card body all right copy this comma card body just like this there we go then this uh we are just arranging all the card body elements whatever the elements you have in mind you can just throw them around so for example i do have a text in mind and uh, just like this and this will be a simple because this image is actually a hava mahal uh, which is a nice really touristy location in my town in Jaipur and again we can copy these stylings 
and make our life a tiny bit easier. There we go. This one is going to be card title. And we can actually have a duplicate of this and we can have a location. This could be a simple uh, card label. And this one could have a different text, uh, probably pink city, pink city, Jaipur. There we go. And we'll have another one of this as a description. So let's have a copy of this. And this one could be card description. If I can write that <laughs> uh, card description. OK, whatever that is. And I do have a description handy with me. So I'll copy it from my notes and we'll paste it up here. All right. Uh, there will be one more. We'll be having it because I want to show you a little bit about the Flex Grow. So that's why I'm having all of this. So just have one more. I can actually copy this and I'll be pasting it up here. And uh, what we'll be doing is a card footer. And definitely there's a lot of uh, exercise I'll give you here so that you can also play around with some of the styling properties. I'll just say 12 minutes away. All right, looks good. We have all these things which are not available to us. So let's go up here and we'll be having card title. Then we have card title. Then we call it as label or subtitle, whatever suits you. Card label, just like this. We have card description and card footer. Copy that. And there we go. A little bit time consuming task. Yes, I do agree on that part. But you need to see this in the real time. That yes, this is how the designings are being done. So that in the real world, you don't over heavily at your things yourself that, hey, it takes a little bit less time. Okay, all right. Let's see how it looks like. So there we go. This is not looking anywhere near like card element. Uh, this is all the text that we have dumped out the images, but this is all good enough. As of now, we are totally happy with what we have achieved in just one video. Now, what we're going to do in the next video, I will continue my styling and we'll talk a little bit more about the flex and all of that. In the meantime, here's your assignment. Go ahead and study about the image component, which is available in React Native. And also you have to write an article on Hashnode about the images, images in the React Native. Go ahead, write an article on Hashnode. Share it on our Discord, share it on my Instagram and LinkedIn and tag Hashnode as well. One of the article I will be featuring in the home and the readme of the main repository of this project. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.